So I've been loving playing the Trim UI Smart Pro. This is a cool little handheld. So I've been playing a few games, but every time I start playing a game, I start noticing Xbox 360 controller comes up on the bottom left corner. So I start playing and I was thinking like, man, I wonder can you hook up a, a controller to this thing? I think that'll be kind of cool. I researched it and I looked on YouTube, there was no videos on it, but check it out. I figured out a way how you can hook a, a control up to your uh, Trim UI Smart Pro. All right, let's jump into this. Let's do it. Welcome back to Gamer to Gamer. And I've been playing games and collecting games ever since I was a kid. So therefore I decided to start this channel up. So if you like my videos, smash that like button and subscribe. So without further ado, let's start the video. Welcome back to gamer to gamer and check it out. I'm going to show you how to hook up a controller to your uh, Trim UI Smart Pro. All right, so check it out. I did try to go to the settings to see uh, could I find something, but man, I found. And so I was like, man, how can I set one up? So I start noticing, like I said, I start seeing these, uh, you can hook up a wireless controller on the bottom left. So I figured it out and it's pretty simple. So the first thing I noticed, all you need is a, um, USB uh, C uh, cord and the next cord you need is a C to C cord so on the trim UI there's two C uh, ports one right here one on the bottom and one on the top so either R works so we're gonna hook one up to the top and then so what you have to do you got to make sure that you uh, press the power button on this one let's see on the co Xbox controller turn the power on and then you connect it then it should vibrate a little bit then the light goes solid all right now the controller's not going to work yet as you can see it won't move the menus but if you go into the game so we're going to go into uh main plus here and then we're going to pick a game let's see what game should we play let's play some x-man so i'm going to Press the X-Man button. So right here, you should see the Xbox controller. There you go. Now you can tell that it's uh, pretty much paired up. Okay, so we're at the menu. So if I push left, right, you can see it clearly works. So let's play uh, Wolverine. Okay, so let's just hit start. Come on. Okay, here we go. So clearly it works. I'm gonna jump up and it works really well come on so the controller works really well oh shoot so yeah the controller works so all you got to do is hook up a C to C and yeah it worked out just great. So, by the way, the controller here works as a second controller. So now you can play a two players. So I've been trying to hook, uh, hook up uh, con two controllers, but it never did work. So this is the uh, first player, and this is the second player. All right, easy peasy. Oh, and by the way, it must stay tethered to the uh, to the handheld. If you uh, unhook it, yep, it stop uh, working, so it starts blinking. So you can't Bluetooth it. At least, like I said, I haven't found a way yet. So, but as you can notice, I have a dock here, and check it out. The dock is really cool. This is my Steam Deck dock. 
so I plug it up right here. And so since there's a Steam Deck uh, has other ports, so you can also uh, stick your uh, USB if you don't have C to C, you can use one of these. But check this out. I found another thing you could do. I like playing Super Nintendo games, so you can actually hook up a regular USB controller to the console and it works perfectly. So let's hook this bad boy up. And I'm gonna hook it up here, there you go. So I'm going to the NES uh, section since I do have a NES controller. All right, so let's figure out a game we're gonna play. Let's see, let's play. Uh, all right, let's play some Final Fight 3. I never play that game. Let's do it. And it should register it right there. And yep, there you go. All right, I had to switch to my other controller. That one's had a short in it, but as you can see, it does work. Let's play a uh, one player. Now here we go. So it goes from left to right, as you can see. Up and down, it does work. Come on. As you see, I love beat em ups. <laughs> yeah, and the controller works great. And it's very responsive, no lag at all. Yep, perfect. All right, so let's test out our arcade game, shall we? Let's test out the uh, Super NES controller on one of these games. Let's see. All right, let's pick that guy. <laughs> All right. So I'm pretty sure it what oh Jesus. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, looks like it's working pretty good. Wow, well, it's working really well. <laughs> Yeah, works great on the other system. All right, so I decided to hook up the Xbox controller again. I want to try out a PlayStation game. Okay, thought I'd try out some uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, let's try like Kung Lao. Let's test them out. All right, let's put it to the test. Okay. Oh, shoot. Forgot the buttons. Oh, shoot. There we go. Ah, oh, god dang it. But look like the controller's working pretty good, though. Oh, crap. A butt kick here. Oh, shoot. I forgot the buds. Oh, shoot. Ah, barely. <laughs> All right, so if you want to hook controllers up to your um, Trim UI Smart Pro, there you go. That's how to do it. So like I said, is there a way to Bluetooth it? I'm not sure yet. I haven't found it, found the method yet. So, but anyway, thanks for watching gamer to gamer Peace. Wait a minute, I wonder if you can hook it up to the TV. Hmm.